Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you tell me? Can you tell me your name and your badge number one more time? Good evening, friends. We start with the WABI team looking into this video that shows the aftermath of a crash involving an East Baton Rouge Sheriff's deputy. Did you see anything wrong with that? Well, it depends on who you ask. Is this woman exercising her rights or interfering with an investigation? Lead investigator Scotty Hunter is asking that question tonight. Right or wrong, you be the judge. Excuse me, Lieutenant. It's, excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you, tell, can you tell me your name and your badge number one more time? This is the aftermath of a wreck on Evangeline and Lemonwood that happened Wednesday morning. Daphne Brooks is behind the camera recording not long after she got on scene to check on her nephew who was involved in a wreck with an East Baton Rouge Sheriff's deputy. You can see the passenger side of his car is crunched up and the airbag even came out, giving some idea as to how hard the impact was. What you see and hear in this video is what happened just after the crash before EMS had even arrived on scene. The woman can be heard asking deputies for their names and badge numbers. And while the video appears to show the deputies never answered that question, a spokeswoman for EBRSO says they had already given her that information right before the video started. Can you tell me your name and your badge number? He told me to ask you your name and your badge. You involved in the accident. Later, as she continues to record, you're not able to see it, but Brooks tells me one of the deputies grabs her arm, threatening that she will be arrested. He telling me to ask you your name and your badge. Man, you're going to be in handcuffs. Why are you going to be in handcuffs? You ain't you can interfere with police investigation. Okay, all right, all right. let me go. All right, all right. so you need right, to go, 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 go
And we're told the guy involved in that wreck, Javante Brooks, was taken to the hospital. It is worth noting he was later arrested on an outstanding warrant. He was also ticketed for not having a license, an expired inspection sticker, and for turning left at an intersection. We also asked if the deputies had body cameras and if they were activated at the time of that encounter. While you can see in the video they do have those body cameras, we still don't have that answer of whether or not they were rolling at the time. All right, Scotty Hunter, interesting situation. Thank you very much for that.